In this video, we'll go through exam questions that cover the criteria multiply whole numbers in the range of 0 times 0 to 12 times 12 times tables. You can locate the questions on the mathmath.com website under entry 2. The questions come from different exam boards. We'll start with the non calculated questions and then we'll move to the calculated questions. Here is the first question Liv drives 9 kilometers between home and work eight times a week. She works out how far she drives in a week. Eight times nine equals, what's that number? Complete the calculation. Show your answer in the box below. So we need to work out eight times nine. Hopefully you know your timetables and you know that the answer is 72. But if you don't, there are different strategies you can use. One of them is to start with 9. So 9 add 9, that gives us 18. So 2 lots of 9 gives us 18. 18 and 18, that gives us 36. So that is 4 lots of 9. If we double it, we'll get 8 lots of 9, which is the answer we're after. So 36, add 36, gives us 72. Lucy works in a furniture shop. She wants to know how many hours she works each week. Complete the calculation. 7 times 5. So seven lots of five. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven lots of five. So five, ten, fifteen, twenty, twenty-five, thirty, thirty-five. That is if you don't know in your head that seven times five is equal to thirty-five. Ruby sees that some boxes of books have been sent from another library. So Ruby works in a library. There are eight boxes. Each box holds 12 books. How many books were sent in total? Show you working. So we're doing eight times 12. Again, we can go 12 and 12, that is 24. So we've got two lots of 12. 24 and 24 will give us four lots of 12, and that is 48. So 48 and 48 will give us eight lots of 12, or eight times 12. So eight and eight, that is 16. Six down, one carried over. Four and four is eight, and the one is nine. So the answer is 96. Should actually do it like this. The greenhouse has nine shelves. Jay puts 12 pots on each shelf. How many pots does he put on the shelves in total? So it's 9 times 12 or 12 times 9, whichever you prefer. So 12 and 12 is 24. That gives us two lots of 12. 24 and 24 is 48. So that is four lots of 12. 48 and 48 gives us eight lots of 12. So that is 96. So eight lots, now we need just one more. So we're going to add 12 to this. Six and two, that is eight. Nine and one, that is 10. So 108 is the answer. Daisy works nine hours in one day. She earns seven pounds an hour. How much does Daisy earn in one day? So that is, 9 times 7, 
or 7 times 9. Okay, so you can go through adding them one by one if you like. What I'm going to show you is a trick that you can use when multiplying numbers by 9. So what are we multiplying by 9? That's 7. The answer will be 1 less, which is 6. And then another digit there. What do we add to 6 to make 9? That is 3. Because 6 and 3 makes 9. So the answer is 63. John will bring some snacks. He has seven packs of biscuits. So John is going on a trip with his friends. The context is missing here, but the idea is that he has seven packs of biscuits. Each pack has four biscuits. How many biscuits does John have in total? Show your working. So we're working out seven times four or four times seven. 7 and 7, that is 14, so we have 2 times 7, that equals 14. 14 and 14 is 28. So 4 times 7 equals 28. Kay flushes a toilet 8 times a day. Each flush uses 9 litres of water. How much water is flushed in total? So we're working out 9 times 8. So I'll again use the trick. What are we multiplying 9 by? That's 8. So the answer will start with 1 less than 8. 1 less than 8 is 7. OK, what is that number we add to 7 to give us 9? That is 2. So 72 is the answer. Multiply 12 by 9. Okay, so that trick I showed you for the 9 times tables that works up to 10 times 9. So now we'll do something slightly different. Okay, so 12 times 9. I can split 12 into 10 and 2. So I can do 10 times 9 and 2 times 9. And then if I add them two together, the answers should be the same as 12 times 9, the answer. So multiplying 10 by 9, we said earlier we start with one less. One less than 10, that is 9. What do we add to 9 to make 9? Just 0, so we add nothing. So 10 times 9 is 90. Now 2 times 9, we know that's 9 and 9, which is 18. So adding these two together, 0 and 8 gives us 8. 9 and 1 gives us 10. So that is 108. 12 times 9 is equal to 108. Work out 10 times 12. So if you don't know this by heart, you can go 12 and 12 gives us 24. So that is two lots of 12. 24 and 24, that is 48. So that is four lots of 12. 48 and 48 gives us 96. So there we have 8 lots of 12. So 96 now. We need to add 2 lots of 12 to make 10 lots of 12. So that is 24. 2 lots of 12. 6 and 4. That is 10, so 0 down and 1 carried over. 9 and 1 is 10, and the 2 is 12. So the answer is 120. Do you notice anything? 12, 120. So we're adding 
a zero when we multiply it by 10. From now on, we can use a calculator. John parks at the nature reserve. He pays for the parking with six 10p coins. How much does John pay in total? So six times 10 gives us 60, 60 pence. Joe and four friends go to college. The cost of return train ticket is £11 each. How much do they pay in total? Show your workings. So it's Joe and four friends, so that is five of them. Times 11 gives us 55. And that is 55 pounds. We need to make sure we include that because it could be that you're saying 55 pence. And this is the end of the questions.